What is going on everybody, it's Skills here, and today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to get the secret 516 blueprint in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now this one's a little bit different to acquire than your other blueprints and takes a couple of steps. So we'll get into that in this video. So everything you wanna know on how to get this blueprint will be right here. So let's dive into it. So the first step you need to do is head to the island south of Aurora and there is a faction leader that is down here. So you wanna to speak to her and there is a side mission that you wanna do. So whether you wanna fast travel to this bivouac, if you wanna fly down here on your helicopter, you need to speak to this faction leader in here and she's gonna give you a mission called Song for a Revolution. Now this is a side mission, you wanna make sure that you select this. This is one of three side missions that you need to complete before you have access to the 516 blueprint. This side mission is gonna send you to a bar and you need to speak to the owner, Morrison. He's a pianist and that is part of the mission. So once you arrive to the village that he's at, you need to make sure you head into his bar. There are a couple enemies in this area, not too many. I think there's probably like two guarding the front entrance. If you come in through the side, you won't I'd even see any. Morrison's gonna send you off to meet a lady called Lacey and she's in a camp guarded by the wolves. So you have to be very careful. Now, a trick that I found out is if you come in from the right side where there's a tower, you can breach the fence, sneak in. You might only have to kill the sniper in the tower and then a guy guarding the helipad. As long as you take out those two guys, you should be able to walk right into her office without them discovering you. That is a little just tip and trick that I give you if you guys are having trouble with this mission. Now I did this on extreme and with no HUD, so that's just to give you an idea of how I did it on a harder difficulty. One thing that would get me caught up is sometimes the snipers do look your way, so just be very careful when you are approaching this building. Just take your time. Now once you yeah. meet with Lacey, she's gonna give seven. you the seven intel that you need to take back Elaborate. to Morrison. So gather that intel, head back to speak to him at the same bar that you started this mission. Now this is where it got a little tricky for me. As soon as you speak to him and you this have this cutscene, you might have to wait a little bit oh, before it triggers be the one. next mission and he gives you, you make the next mission that you need to do. So I got the notification for the second side mission, Pirate Radio but it also says you need to wait till he finishes his work. And I don't know how long that takes, but what I ended up doing is I just went around the same village just south of here. There's some Sentinel soldiers. So I ended up taking out those guys, maybe wasted about like five, 10, 15 minutes, and then it triggered the next step. So I don't know how much in-game time you have to wait, but as soon as I guess he's finished creating what he needs to create, you can head back to him and then continue on with his side mission. He sends you off to a facility where he wants you to hack a broadcast. What you're gonna end up doing is playing the music and for, I wanna say, what is it, two and a half minutes, you play the music and then soldiers will come so you have to defend the area. As long as you defend the area, it isn't too hard. I did it on extreme. All I did was stay up here. I sniped, I sniped anybody who was coming in my direction and then I also sniped, I think one chopper came. And this was on extreme, yeah, so three minutes. So three minutes of defending this broadcast. And as long as you do that, at the very end, you'll get the notification, objective complete. And then it's gonna say, head back to Morrison's bar. So you're gonna head back to him. As soon as you speak to him, that's the end of this side mission. And then you have to go accept another side mission from the faction leader where you initially started the mission that sent you to him. So head back to that side mission. The easiest way to get there is fast travel to the bivouac. And there is a cliff that you can just jump off of and then parachute right in and speak to her. So remember, you need to go back to her. There's nothing gonna indicate that you need to go speak to her. Just head back to her, talk to her, and she's gonna give you a new side mission that pops up. You won't be able to do this without doing those initial two side missions. Now, when you do speak to her, you need to go down where it says, don't kill the messenger, and that's gonna be the side mission that's gonna give you shit, that no secret blueprint for about? the 516. Now, this mission is gonna require you to sneak into a base and rescue Morrison. You're gonna have to kill a couple Sentinel soldiers guarding him, do however you want. But once you sneak in, drop the soldiers around him first, and then you can get the two guys who are guarding him. There's always gonna be two guys inside guarding him. I use a sink shot to drop him. You can pretty much shoot him however you want, but clear the enemies on the outside, and then you just need to release him. Now, upon releasing him, you are going to get some Sentinel soldiers with one Sentinel soldier in particular you need to kill, and that will trigger after you release him. Once you kill all the soldiers, just head over to kill the boss. He should be hiding by his little truck. 
and then kill the one soldier probably guarding them. As soon as you kill that boss, or I want to say mini boss, he's not really a boss, head back to Morrison and then you have to take him to the safe point. There is like a 4x4 vehicle. I would recommend picking up. This thing is super fast and will get you to the location. I didn't run into any enemies, so it's pretty much just taking him straight there. You can stay on the road if you want and then go off-road when you need to. Now, once you get to the safe point, all you have to do is speak to him. That is how you unlock this secret 516 blueprint. So if you guys were wondering how to get this blueprint, if you saw other players with this blueprint or this weapon, this is how you get it. You get one 516 and then you get the blueprint. What I did is I didn't use the one that they gave me. I went out and I crafted my own at the bivouac. So I went to the bivouac, went to the shop. And if we do just a little bit of comparing to the M4A1, which is my favorite AR in the game at the moment, this one has better handling, um, better range, but of course it does have the 20% handling on there and a 20% range as a little stat boost on there. So that makes a difference. But overall, everything on this gun besides accuracy was better than my M4A1. Don't get me wrong, I still do love my M4A1 over this one, but this one is a pretty decent weapon and with having a couple stat boosts better than M4A1, some of you guys might like it more. Remember this game, a lot of the games are pretty much evenly balanced but it's really those little stat boosts you get. Now this one is maxed out. I do have it fully modded out. And overall, I think it's a good weapon, but this is how you get the custom 516 blueprint. Let me know what you guys think about this. Leave a thumbs up. As always, if you're new to the channel, first time watching the video, hit the subscribe button, turn notification bell on, so when I release a video, you guys get notified. Thank you guys again, but until the next Ghost Recon Breakpoint video, nothing but skills out.